School was kind of the perfect situation. I think to me, everything was ergonomically correct. But once you get out into the real world, it was slightly different. But once I started working more regularly, I started to get this discomfort in my wrist um, that kind of led up my arm a little bit towards my elbow. One day in particular, and I got to the point where my, my hand just hurt so bad that I could almost not grasp the instrument. Gradually over time I started to feel better because I started paying attention to my own ergonomics more than anything, my instrument grasp um, more than anything, uh, the way I sat, the way I looked at the patient. This is one of five videos made by dental hygienists for dental hygienists to help prevent work-related pain and disability. In dental hygiene school, we practiced in spacious labs with easily adjustable patient chairs and trays and enough time to complete our tasks. In the real world, some of us work in cramped quarters, under time pressure, or with older, non-adjustable chairs and equipment. But no matter how challenging our work environment, we need to pay attention to our bodies and posture while working to prevent pain and disabling injuries. When we work while holding our bodies in a twisted posture, instead of repositioning the patient, our equipment, or ourselves, we put our bodies at risk. Bending forward, raising our arms, or other awkward postures can lead to arm, neck, shoulder, and back pain. Most patients don't mind being adjusted. They want us to be comfortable so we can focus on their teeth. We need to position our patients so that we can sit in a neutral and comfortable position with our head and shoulders over our hips and our elbows close to our sides. The most important aspect of positioning is adjusting the chair to the right height. On a properly adjusted chair, the pressure under our thighs and butt should be even and it should be easy to use our feet and legs to move the chair. We adjust the height of the patient's chair so that our hands and tools can easily access the mouth. Generally, the flatter we position the patient, the easier it is to see parts of their mouth. We should have an upright spinal and head posture, no twisting or bending, and keep our elbows near our sides. Pick a clock position around the patient's mouth for good visual and reach access. I think most of us overlook what we learned to accommodate our patients, our office.